Hey, what's up people? Are you selling stuff on Amazon? Do you want to inject your listing with steroids and have it run past all the other listings? Well then stay tuned. Hey, thanks for coming back. This is John Astrab. Do you want your listing to just like literally, not literally, get, like I said, injected with steroids and like get supercharged? There's one thing that you have to do, and that's to send hot traffic to your listing. All right, it's like, okay, John, yeah, duh. No, you have to send outside traffic to your listing. You have to do it somehow, and preferably free traffic. Amazon, the algorithm, the Amazon algorithm loves that even more than it loves PPC. I mean, Amazon loves when you spend, waste a lot of money on PPC, but they really, really, really love when you send outside traffic because those are people that weren't on the site. They might have been buying somewhere else, but now they're sucked into Jeff Bezos' world. <laughs> so if you can, you know, whatever your product is, if you can, if it looks good on Instagram or Pinterest, plaster the shit out of it with pictures of your product. I mean, just, it's free. It's, you know, Grant Cardone is like, Tw Twitter's free, what? And I'm gonna bomb the shit out of it. And he tweets like every 15 minutes. It's free. Just, you know, have, you know, have a, um, a VR or somebody from Fiverr or whatever, your kids. Bomb the shit out of Instagram with pictures of your product and, and you will send hot traffic to Amazon and you will jump above people with 500 reviews. It's just, you will convert and you will, it, Amazon will love you. They will love you. They will reward you with a higher placement of your listing no matter what it is. So whatever you do, don't, I would say don't pay for traffic unless it's a really high ticket item and it's hard to track from social media through, you know, you're not gonna be able to tell whether it was a sale or not through Amazon. So do not pay for traffic to go to your listing. If you wanna pay for traffic, to go to a lead capture page, then to go to your listing, then that's great. But the point is, you have to, and this is the whole point about niche marketing, you have to start with a niche, you have to start with social media, emails, and then send it to Amazon, and then you will, your business will explode, okay? So you have to start with a niche. Don't, you know, a potato peeler is not a niche, you know, a garlic press is not a niche. Those are doodads, gadgets, and you can't build a business around that. I mean, you know, that's, that's my opinion and you can't build a tribe around it and you can't build followers around it. You have to find a niche, spend some time. Check out, check out below. I have a um, niche marketing mini course and a downloadable PDF that you can, if you have a niche in mind, it's a scorecard and you can like score it up and see whether it's good or not. So check that out. I'm a huge fan of niche marketing. I was hit or miss on Amazon before I went niche first and now I'm killing it. <laughs> so anyway, click the link below to check me out and remember it's niches or the riches are in the niches and also remember this, it's right in front of you, grab it and make it real, alright? Cheers.